Danke. Vielen Dank. Today's video is a little unique because due to some unforeseen circumstances, I no longer have the gun that we're talking about. So some things happened and I had to send the gun back a little bit sooner than I was anticipating. So I don't have it here today. So I'm just holding my tea instead of the gun. Uh, but today we are talking about the Q Mini Fix and specifically a very unique one with some new parts that are available through Tag Firearm. If you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm not crazy about talking details. So I will leave a link down below to Tag Firearm's website and you can check out all the details there because I will inevitably miss something. What makes it so unique is one, that the typical Q Mini Fix comes with a brace and it comes with the eight inch 300 blackout barrel. And this particular one comes with the mini stock along with a new barrel that Tag are releasing in collaboration with Proof Research. So that's particularly what we're talking about today is the barrels they're releasing. So they're releasing it both in 300 blackout and in 223. They will be released in a 12.75 length and a 16 inch length. Now the 223 is gonna be one and seven twist, the 300 blackout, the 12.75 is going to be a one and seven twist, and then the 16 inch is going to be a one and eight twist. Now the reason for the variation on the 300 blackout is because you're running a longer barrel, you don't need as tight a twist as what Q runs in like the Honey Badger or the Sugar Weasel. All the barrels will be tapered, but they don't come with the cherry bomb on there. You'll have to order that separately and then have it either installed at your local shop or do it yourself. Uh, but they are easy drop-ins for your Q Mini Fix. For me, that's really appealing and that's kind of where I got excited about this particular review because when they reached out, they said, hey, do you want to test out the Mini Fix? Well, I don't have a ton of experience with bolt guns. I'm just not a, a precision shooter. I'm not a big hunter in that regard. I don't shoot PRS, but now with this new barrel and it being 223, it became a comparable package where I could compare it to the ARs that I've shot up to this point. So it made it easier for me to draw some comparison and to be able to understand the performance of it without having to dive into a whole new round like a 308 or 65 or uh, whatever your particular flavor is. Now in my short time with the gun, I only had the 16 inch variant and I only shot it uh, with some 55 grain 223, just some, some cheap range ammo but it still performed extraordinarily well. Now the, the Mini Fix as a whole, the package uh, was very light. I enjoyed shooting it. It was, it was actually, honestly, the, the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway for me was that the gun was just a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, at the end of the day, it was just a really cool, fun gun to shoot. And it made, it was one of those guns that you want to keep shooting. It made me want to shoot more. Like I, I sh we shoot a lot of guns and I get to try a lot of stuff. And you know, some stuff is really nice and some stuff is kind of not so nice. It's just kind of, you know, generic. But the mini fix has always been an interesting thing for me because it's it's just fun. It just it felt like it made shooting exciting again. Uh, it was because it's not a gun that's about being tactical. It's not a gun about being fast. It's not a you know you know you're not trying to be this super high speed ranger army sniper thing. Like that's just not what is. It's it's a very fun gun and it's a very good looking gun. Now, as I started to dive into more long range shooting or mid to long range shooting, more precision shooting. I've started to really understand the importance of barrels, understand materials, and, and just taking a deep dive off that end. So this was really intriguing for me. And shooting it, the first thing I did was go out and group it. Like how, how does the barrel actually group? And I can say that it groups sub MOA, it probably groups quarter, it's a probably quarter MOA barrel with just some cheap range ammo. Now if you had some better ammo, I'm sure that you guys could perform much better than me. Yeah. We were shooting it from prone off a bipod with the Night Force uh, 4 to 16, the Attacker 4 to 16, and it performed phenomenally well. So grouping it was not a problem, shot great. Again, the gun is super easy to use. The trigger on the gun is awesome. I didn't really have any issues. I think I had maybe one or two light primer strikes. Now, I don't know if that's ammo related or gun related because I only had one batch of ammo to, to pull from and I only shot that batch. Now, when I pulled those rounds out, I tried to, to rerun them again to see if it was just the gun and I still could not get them. So I'm thinking it was an ammo issue and not necessarily a gun issue, but that's something that we'll have to see long-term with other users. And with this particular setup and shooting that, just that generic 55 grain ammo, I was able to walk the gun out to 850 yards, no problem. Easy, hitting C-Zone steel, not a problem. Um, I think 500 yards and in, we, I was shooting as small as six inch steel at that distance. It's a little bit harder for me in particular to shoot at that distance without a spotter. Um, and I just didn't have a spotter that day. So I think with a spotter, we could probably get a little more precise with it. And I think that the gun is definitely capable of it. And I, I think it is a great package. I think the barrels 
really expand the capability of this gun and it make it a more intriguing option for a lot of people. I think with just the short barrel and the 300 blackout, it's a fun little hunting gun if you're, depending on what it is you're hunting and where you live. But I think for like out here in Texas where we have these like wide open plains, we you know got a lot of coyotes, a lot of hog hunting. Um, and then talking to Chris at TAG, they do a lot of prairie dog hunting up where they're at. So it depends on what you're hunting and where you're at. But I think these new barrel options make the gun just a, a better all around package for more people. And so instead of it being kind of this, I don't know, narrow pathway, it's expanded for a lot more people. And for me in particular, I was like, you know, this would be a fun gun for to run some of our local PRS matches or to do some of the running guns because it is such a light package, because it is so accurate, because I can run it with all the gear that I already have and the ammo that I already use. This is like, hold on, like I can use this for a lot more things. It's no longer this very specific tool. It now becomes, oh wait, we can use this for a lot of things. And the fact that you can swap out barrels fairly quickly and very fairly easily is I think very attractive as well because if you're going to a specific hunt for hog hunting, you can put your 300 blackout barrel in there if you wanna go hunt coyotes or something else and you want a 223 barrel in there, you can do that. Um, or if you're using it for matches, you can swap it out as you change from hunting to matches. And, and it's just, it makes it easier to use and it makes it a more versatile package. And so, and that, that's who I think this is a marketable gun for is the, those people who maybe want to shoot PRS and they're looking for something to get into it, something that light, uh, that's a little bit smaller package and having that folding stock is a great option as well. And then you throw in there that you have the option to change out barrels. You have the accuracy, you have that it's a reliable package that runs really well. I think this is a great option. So if, if you're one in the market for a bulk gun, but maybe having it with just 300 blackout barrel isn't a great option for you, well now you can get the proof research barrel, buy that as a package and you have a very versatile gun. Uh, on the flip side, maybe you already have the mini fix and you're wanting just to maybe expand its capabilities. Well, you can, again, purchase the barrel and do that. Now with that, if you are one of those people who's wanting to buy the gun or already have the gun and wanna upgrade the barrel, you're probably gonna be asking, hey, when is the 12.75 inch rail gonna come out? When can we, or the 12 inch rail for the 12.75 inch barrel, when is that rail gonna come out? How do we get access to that? I can tell you that TAG is working with Q to make those available. So keep an eye on uh, TAG Firearms Instagram along with their website, their newsletter. That's where they put all their drops, put all their information out. So keep an eye out there if you're interested in that particular package. Otherwise, at the time of dropping this video, these barrels will be available right now. So you can go to their site, go grab them today. Now, while I did only run the 223 variant uh, in regards to the 300 blackout, uh, I, it is my understanding and they've ensured that it will run subs and supersonic, no problem. You won't have any issues. If you're going to purchase one through Tag Firearms, use Goon Life, saves you some money. I've also heard rumors. Now this is just between us, but I've heard rumors that there is Maybe a six arc, 16 inch barrel coming out. I don't, I don't know, it's just a rumor I heard, but what do I know? But if you're interested in those, check out Tag Firearms. Uh, if there's something you feel like I left out that you wanna know more about, leave it in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, karate chop that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you guys in the next one. Make a tea. Tea's good for you. Nice to have a little afternoon tea. Key is, when you're done, make sure you squeeze the bag out. Last little bit. Boom. Enjoy. Cause we're not a bunch of, not a bunch of peasants out here. Mmm. That's good. I watch Legos. You're watching Legos. You gonna tell them bye? Bye. We're just gonna start all over.